Hi, I'm Brett. This is our part four video update on our project engine for the BRZ with a high horsepower rebuild, which ultimately will be um, forced induction with turbo and supercharger. What we've done now since the previous videos, we've dismantled the engine, stripped it, high flowed the heads, big valves, ported galleries, um, changed the rocker assemblies to cope with the uh, forced induction because a normal um, non turbo uh, valve springs are really not quite designed and can cause rocker arm failure. Um, we've spoken about um, the traps and pitfalls of how the engine comes apart and goes back together, what you need to use with the right pistons and rods. And what I can show you today is just about before we put the front cover back on the engine, we've now got the two heads with the block assembly. You can see with the, the two cam chains driving off the uh, crankshaft with the uh, guides, the two separate tensioners, one thing, and obviously the sump, um, the water pump, the oil pump sits on the back of the cover, which I'll show you in a sec. But one thing I do want to show you is see these little O-rings. My engine builder just wanted to show you these. There's one here, another one down here, another one here. It's really, really important when you put all these back together that these O-rings are nice and clean and everything's ready to bolt back neatly with the right three bond sealant because these form the critical part of the oil pump assembly which goes into the inside of the engine but of course all these other nuts and bolts around the outside um, need to make sure that they're all nice and neat and tidy otherwise you'll end up with oil leaks. What I did want to show you on the top of the engine now that we're going back together you can see how the, all the inlet ports are a lot bigger than standard. We've, these are all been modified but this is the, um, the injector rail for the high pressure direct injectors. You can have a look on the um, uh, Facebook link underneath this video for all the photos and the still photos of this engine where you can see what the direct injector looks like um, and you'll see there's a direct link to the album on the MRT Facebook page but these are the high pressure injectors the low pressure normal what we would call normal injectors are built in the inlet manifold but over this side here this is the high pressure injector pump um, which um, runs those then but also down the side here I'll show you Right inside there is an additional cam load. Now that cam load drives the, an actuator on the pump which generates the high pressure. Um, and that is one of the critical things and one of the advantages of these new engines were the direct injection heads. The uh, FA20 engine, which is this one, compared to the FB20 engine or the turbo engine as well, some of them have direct injectors, some of them don't, some of the turbo, some of them are normally aspirated. Um, so, we're ready now to bolt the front on with the rocker covers. This is the front cover, which is an alloy casting. But then when it all goes together, these parts here are part of the sensors which control the variable cam control on the front. And I'll just show you again, another one of these O-rings, which is so critical that makes sure it all goes back together. Interestingly, when you buy a gasket kit for this engine, not all these O-rings are included. Um, some of them are gotta be reused, some of them are gotta be purchased separately really important to make sure that they are clean and neat and tidy when it all goes back together. There are so many areas where you can end up with long-term oil leaks. For more information, of course, you can follow our project online here on our YouTube channel. Real look for you making some comments and feedback. Subscribe to this channel. Um, Facebook and Twitter, another area you can follow on our Facebook page. Lots of still photos to learn and understand what we've done and where we're going with this engine. Of course, go to our, our website at mrtperformance.com.au. So wherever you are in the world, thanks for watching. Um, stay tuned for our next update, which is when the engine will be back in the car. I'm Brett Middleton. Speak to you soon.